Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to install Groovy on Eclipse or how to add Groovy support on Eclipse IDE. So let's get started and step number one will be we have to download and install or set up Eclipse. Now I will assume that you already have Eclipse on your system. Just in case you do not have, you can uh, go to my website which is automationstepbystep.com and here you will get a link for online courses so you can go here and on this link you will get a link for java course so if you go to online courses here if you go a little down you will find a course on java and if you go here this will take you to the youtube playlist on java and here you can see we have video number four on getting started with Eclipse ID. So you can watch this. I will also make this link available. So I will just say uh, copy link address and I will also make this link available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you. So you can watch this. Uh, let me just put it here. Yeah, that's it. And then once you have Eclipse, then step number two will be you have to go to Eclipse. So I will go to my Eclipse here and I, if I go to help and say about Eclipse so you can see the version I am using version 4.10.0 which is latest as of now it is also called 2018-12 and is being used in 2019 so this is the version I have and you can also uh, see your version and then uh, go to Google and search for Groovy so this should be if you search for Groovy you will get to the official website for Groovy which is groovy-lang.org and if you go here on the official website go to the documentation and here under tools you will find the option ID integration go here and here you can see we have all these IDE and text editors supported for Groovy and I will go here Groovy Eclipse plugin And here is the GitHub page for Groovy Eclipse. So you can go here and here is some documentation and here is the wiki page. And here you can see we have all the options, all the releases and the news. And if you go down, we have a section on how to install. And then here you will also find the releases as per the Eclipse version. So for now I am using 4.10. So for that, this is the link to get Groovy support in case you are using any other Eclipse like Photon or Oxygen or Neon or Bass you can get the link accordingly so let me also copy this link and in the notes I will say step number two will be go to this link and then after this uh, we have two ways so we have two ways to get Groovy on Eclipse way one is you have can do install new software so if you go to eclipse and go to help and go to install new software here you can copy the link for your eclipse so for example i am using this version so i will just copy this and paste here and you can see we have got all this and then you can select everything and then do next and uh, install the Groovy support the other option is you can again go to help and here you will find an option for Eclipse Marketplace so you can go here Eclipse Marketplace let me also add it here second way is from Eclipse Marketplace and here on the Eclipse Marketplace you can search for Groovy and write Groovy in the find box here and do enter and you will get this Groovy development tools and you will get the latest version and click on install and here I will say confirm and accept and finish and then it will ask for restarting Eclipse you can restart Eclipse so here let me also write down step number 
3 will be restart eclipse and now you can check if you have groovy so you can uh, go to help and go to eclipse marketplace again and this time you should find groovy in the installed section so if you go here and you go to installed you should find groovy here the other way to check is you can again go to help and go to install new software and here is a link for already installed if you go here you should find groovy you can also search for groovy and you should find groovy tools here and the same thing you can also find uh, through help and about eclipse and if you go to installation details and it will take you to the same window and you can search for groovy and it should be here so you can uh, just verify step number four is verify groovy is installed and now you can also go to a uh, file and say new and if you go to others and you can search for groovy and you should find a option for groovy project so if i say groovy project and say next and i will say this is first groovy project and you can select the jre i will say my first groovy project you can select the jre and then uh, this is optional adding to working sets i will say next and finish and here i should find here is the project and you can also see you should all also have groovy libraries here and groovy dsl support and now you can start creating your script so if i go to the src folder right click and say new and i will say other and i will say groovy type in earlier versions we also used to get an option for groovy class but here first we will say groovy type next and here we get an option to create a class a script annotation interface and so on so you can say this is a packages com dot test dot demo this is com dot test dot demo and then you can say my first groovy class and say next here you can uh, have some more options so i will select also add a static void main method so that i do not have to create it manually and if you want to generate comments you can check this and then finally say finish and here you will get your groovy class and here you can say print and if you say control spacebar on your keyboard it should also give you auto completion suggestion and you can see we have got all these suggestions it also says it is coming from the groovy library so i will just say just print out and i want to print hello world and i will save this and if i do a right click i can say run as I can run as a groovy console or a java application i can say java application and it should run i can also go to run and just say run here it should run this and then i can also run as a groovy script and all these things we will learn later but for now we are able to install and we are able to use groovy on eclipse so this is how you will uh, install and use groovy on eclipse i hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching